What's you guys got another video here for you. The new Atlas OS for Windows 11 has been released. This is a modified version of Windows designed for gamers and privacy. It's highly optimized according to Atlas OS, and we're going to go through and take a look at it in this video. Now, I've made a video about Atlas OS before when it was only for Windows 10, but now they've released a new version for Windows 11, so I thought I would give it a spin and see what it's like. So you can see here, it's all about performance, uh, reducing latency, and also removing all of the telemetry and privacy and things like that, and optimizing the version of Windows that you've got. It's not a new version of Windows, it's just modding the version of Windows that you've got by disabling stuff, removing stuff, and things like that. So let's take a look at some of the other things like CPU usage, RAM usage, and 1% FPS. This, of course, will be targeting the 1% uh, FPS lows, and you can see there is a massive boost there. And we can see RAM usage and also a reduction in there, and we can see also CPU usage has been reduced as well. So it's going to be a good thing for a lot of people that are using old hardware by going by these stats. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Before we do that, I just want a quick look at their previous website where they claimed you could get plus 1000 FPS. So they are known to exaggerate on their figures. But before we continue with this, let me have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or a cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. You will need to create an account. Once you've done that, you can use PayPal to pay for your order and then activate your version of Windows. Check out the video description for more details. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. So first off, what we're going to do is head over to Microsoft and download the official Windows 11 ISO from their website. Now, it's important to remember that Atlas OS is not an actual OS. It's modifying Microsoft Windows 11 to make changes to that operating system, like removing key components, uh, turning certain features off and removing telemetry and things like that to make it more optimized and to remove all the telemetry for better privacy for yourself. Next, we're going to need to download Rufus. We're going to head over to the website and download the Rufus tool. You can use the portable one or the installed version. I'm just going to download the installer and we can open this up and install it on the system. And once we've done that, we can then open it and put our USB flash drive in and point to the ISO that we just downloaded and click OK. And this will then allow us to create our bootable uh, media. We're going to leave it on GPT and UEFI. And you'll probably see this box popping up and you can check mark some of these if you don't have a supported uh, computer. This one is supported. It's a ninth gen. So we're going to be put it on a ninth gen i5. So it is supported, but I will remove a lot of this stuff from here anyway to help speed the process up, like create a local account and also set the regional options and things like that. You can do all that inside here, but we're just going to leave this as is. And then we're going to click OK here and this will get this all ready for us. So once that's done, what we can do is click OK and uh, all the settings should be pretty much done. And if you don't need to use some of these, you can turn them off. You don't have to have these on. So you just understand that this is for people that have got unsupported hardware. So we're going to click OK here. It will erase the USB flash drive. Bear that in mind. And once that's done, we should be able to boot to this and install it on a computer. We're going to be doing a fresh install on an actual computer, not a virtual machine. This will be on a, a legitimate computer and we will install it on there and then we'll do a benchmark with it as stock. And then once it's been supposedly highly optimized using the Atlas OS. So we're going to go through the motions here and get this installed. I won't bore you with all of this. I'll just quickly show you that we are installing a fresh copy of Windows 11 on here. And we are using Windows 11 Pro, so that's important as well. And once we've got all this done, we'll be able to uh, test our machine and see what it can do. So who is Atlas OS going to be good for? Well, a lot of the Atlas OS recommendations are for normally gamers, people that want to have a very low latency 
and uh, high uh, 1% lows and also uh, lower CPU usage and less bloat and less telemetry because most people are using older machines as well. If you've got a modern day computer and you still want to use it, it is possible to still use it if you want to. But should you use it will be what we'll discuss a little bit later on in the video. So let's go ahead and get this updated. There's the specs of the PC we're using here. Now, it's not a super high end system, but it will give us a benchmark and it will be able to tell us uh, that we are basically uh, using the same machine for the same uh, optimization after we've used uh, Atlas OS. So it's only got a 1030 in it, this machine, and we will be using heaven benchmark now people always benchmark at their pcs wrong they'll go on a game and start running around and then they'll do another test and they'll be in a completely different part of the map and that is not how you're going to benchmark your system if we use heaven benchmark we will get a stock reading and we will know exactly what the stock readings are and what the enhanced readings are once we use atlas os I'll show you the task manager here so you can see the CPU usage and the memory. Now, it is a little bit high at the moment because it is updating in the background. So bear that in mind. But take note of the processes and the percentage for the CPU usage. But take that with a bit of a pinch of salt because, like I said, it is running some updates. So If you want to capture the screen, you can do and take a look at them at the end of the video. I'll try and pin them together on an actual uh, piece of card here. So here we have the actual files. I'm going to download these from their website as they recommend. And what we will do is we'll do a full update on the system before we run any sort of benchmarks and stuff like that. So let me go ahead and extract these because we need to install all of this stuff. So I need to extract it to the desktop here. And uh, I do like the way they actually uh, install this on the PC. It makes it easier for people to optimize their system. Unfortunately, uh, unless you can see what you're installing and you can see the actual changes that it's making, then it's gonna make people a little bit dubious about running stuff. Now there is also disable uh, automatic driver installation and also bypass the Windows 11 requirements. Inside here, you can do that here as well. But again, these are the two files here that you can use. Now, if you try to run these as administrator here, it's going to tell you that you need to do some Windows updates and you also need to turn off your antivirus program. And that's because it will be making changes to your operating system. Now, that's normally a big no-no for me when you're asked to turn off your antivirus program. And that is a big concern for a lot of other people too. But it's because it's making changes to the key components of the operating system that it will be flagged by your Windows Defender or your antivirus program. So that's why they're telling you to turn it off. I wouldn't advise it myself, but hey, that's what they're asking you to do. So we'll go ahead and do it. This is a throwaway machine, so I'm not too worried about it. So let's go ahead and uh, drag that into the area there. It was having trouble dragging it, so I had to locate it. And once I go here and go next here, it will tell me that we do need to turn that off and get some updates. It's detecting the activation on my system and now it's also analyzing the installation and it says requirements not met that's because it needs to run windows updates so let's go ahead and do that first and what we'll do is uh, we'll get this updated so there's a ton of updates as you'd expect and they were installing and they keep stopping because there's so many of them and that's because we've just done a fresh install so what we'll do is we'll get these installed and then once these are installed we'll do a quick heaven benchmark before any sort of tweaks are done on the system and then we'll do another one after we run atlas os so let's go ahead and do this right now so we'll do uh, the heaven benchmark here now people always ask why i only do this and this is because this is the way that you benchmark a computer we will get a result that tells us the maximum frame rate and also the average frame rate, the lows and the highs and things like that. So you can see here, this is stock windows and you can take a note of it. I will tell you at the end uh, side by side and you'll be able to see those. So you can see here, that is the stock. It's not lighting up any sort of record books for 
scores. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're just trying to get a general score. And this will be the same if you're using a high end system or a low end system. It really doesn't matter. We're just trying to get some benchmark scores. So take that into account. It doesn't really matter because it's a low end GPU or a CPU. We're just running it to get a benchmark. And it should improve once we run uh, the Atlas OS according to Atlas OS. So let's go ahead and uh, run this. It's going to do some checks again. And it's going to ask me to disable the antivirus program because it wants that disabled before it runs. So let's go ahead and do what it's asking. Now, before people start shouting in the comments section, I would not recommend that you turn off your antivirus program to install things on your computer. It's not advisable and it's ways of people to get things to install on your computer. Now, I do understand that the nature of this program needs the Windows antivirus software to be turned off so it can run correctly, but it's not a recommendation that I would uh, say you should do because obviously you're there to protect yourself and you don't know what it's actually installing on your computer. So that is the one big concern I have when things are telling me to turn off my antivirus program. In this case, I'll turn it off because this is a throwaway computer and I never use this PC because it's old and I don't use it. So let's just follow along. And what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and go next here. It's going to detect our activation and then also analyze our installation to make sure everything is turned off. And then we can go ahead with uh, doing the Atlas OS tweaks. So let's go ahead and click next. We have to agree to their terms conditions here. Uh, you have to agree to this sort of stuff. You can read through all this, which I'd advise you to do. Um, and then we'll go ahead and click next. So we're going to accept and we need to come down to configure options here. So click on configure options. This is where it's saying uh, disable Windows Defender. So they want you to disable Windows Defender. This means remove it from your computer. This one here is also reducing security by improves performance on older CPUs. So we'll go ahead and play the disable part here and uh, We'll disable this as well. And this is core isolation. These are all there to protect you. And this is what makes Windows 11 so secure. But they're telling you to turn all this off so you get more performance. So we're going to go ahead and now and choose a browser. And it's going to install this on the computer as well. You can choose whatever you like here. Again, nothing too exciting. And what we're going to do next is click on next. And this will then obviously. Uh, go with the installation. Now I've left Windows Defender on, but I've turned all the features off. Uh, so if that makes sense, so all of the main core features that keep you safe, I've turned off, but I've kept Windows Defender installed rather than uninstall Windows Defender. So let's go ahead and remove all of that stuff and do some tweaks here. And you can see it's doing some tweaks on the system. It's made a bunch of changes, changed the wallpaper and the taskbar and all that sort of stuff. And we'll let the scripts run on the system. And once that's done, it should have done a major uh, optimization on this PC. Now, after checking all of the optimizations that it done, you can do a lot of this yourself manually. And I've made videos showing you how to do that, which is reversible. I'm not sure how reversible some of this stuff is. Once you've removed Windows Defender, if you did decide to go down that route, I'm pretty sure uh, that's going to be probably a fresh install once you've done that. So be be careful what you uh, remove and what you decide to remove if you do decide to run Atlas OS. You know, so that's now completed, and we can now close that off. And what we'll do here is we will take a quick look here. So this is what's changed. You can see I need to do a quick restart to uh, make those changes. So we'll just quickly do that. And I'll speed this process up and then we can get back to the desktop here. Now, again, this is going to be the same test that you could run on a higher end system. And you should see the results uh, that you see here. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter what PC you use because they're talking about old hardware here. And this is what this is. So we're hopefully going to see a massive boost in performance by some of their claims on their website. So what we're going to do is just go through the privacy bit here and make sure we check the Windows updates and things like that. 
These are probably going to be paused. Inside here, you can see there's a lot of this stuff is just being toggled off. And you can do this with group policies as well. With Even with a batch file, it takes no time at all. Now, I can see that it has removed some key components here. And again, this depends on how much you really want to get those gains in your fps and uh, and boost your one percent lows this is the problem with uh gamers they start to get obsessed with uh, you know latency and fps and things like that and some of these people can't even play a game properly and they're worried about their ping going up by you know a couple of digits and things like that and it's because you probably connected to a different server in a different uh country so there's many different variables you have to take into account. You can see a lot of these settings have been turned off as well. And these are probably uh, set uh, in policies and things like that or registry edits. And you can see also we've got uh, some other changes done as well. Let's have a quick look at task manager here and go into the CPU setting. You can see processes have been dropped down to 71. The threads and the handles have also dropped down a little bit there. Utilization is still uh, 3% there, which isn't 0%, but it's still 3%. So it is still bobbling around. And again, memory has changed as well. You can see uh, the committed and the cached memory has changed, page pool and also non-page pool has changed as well. So we have got some changes here, but nothing too crazy and nothing too exciting. It's pretty much the same if you did some group policies and also turned off some services and a bunch of other stuff it will uh, reduce that so you can see the programs as well this is also pretty straightforward and easy to do now to remove this and uh, there's plenty of ways of going about doing this but what we'll do is we'll give it the benefit of the doubt here we'll let the atlas program do its thing and we will we'll do a test and benchmark it there's a load of stuff inside here that you can use windows settings these are optional extras i think by the looks of it how to install software, remove edge. I think it's removed edge from here as well. And again, you can go through here and look at some of these settings here. So there's some extra bits in here, but what we're doing now is we're going to take a look at Heaven Benchmark. And what we'll do is we'll see whether the proof's in the pudding and see whether it has made a massive improvement for our system. So we're going to leave the settings exactly the same. And what we'll do is we'll run our benchmark and we'll see the massive improvement that we are going to get from Atlas OS. And you can sort of sense the sarcasm in my voice there because it's exactly the same as you can see here. Not much difference, all within margin of error, as you would expect, really. And this is the problem. A lot of people don't go through the pain of testing things and it's all, you know, talking big numbers, but with little facts to back it up. But honestly, you can see it there on the screen. We've done a test with it before uh, in stock mode, and also we've done it now with Atlas. And I can honestly say there's not much of a difference there, to be fair. Yes, telemetry has probably been reduced and things like that, or settings have been turned off, but they can all be done manually. You don't have to go through all this palaver to do that. And again, telling you to turn off your antivirus program and removing antivirus security that will keep you safe for those types of gains is pretty disappointing now that's not me bashing atlas os at all that's just me giving you my personal opinion when you're seeing results like that it's pretty disappointing to think that a lot of people will go through a lot of trouble just for a small amount of gains i mean some of these gains are like really silly and like five frames per second difference but here you can see there's not massive amounts of difference so you have to work out whether it's worth the risk of going through all this palaver and also disabling a lot of uh, security which was in place to keep you safe from ransomware and other nasty stuff on the internet and you're turning all that off for those particular types of gains which isn't anything to shout home about I can tell you so if that's really important to you then by all means you crack on with Atlas OS in my personal opinion I just don't think it's worth the risk or worth the hassle of going through just to get a few little extra gains. Now, on the privacy front, if you want to do uh, privacy, you can run uh, Shut Up 10 or Chris Titus Text Tool or any of the other tools out there 
or even run some batch files that I've created or anything like that. And they will do the same thing in seconds. And you won't, and they'll be reversible too. So you have to bear all that in mind if you're going down this route of, you know, using something like this. Now, am I impressed with Atlas OS the way they've packaged this? Yes, I am. I think it's that they've done a really good job in that case. But turning off things like getting the latest updates, uh, you know, and things like that, and it will be probably paused. So you'd have to resume those updates and things like that. But I'm not too sure whether it's something that I would recommend to people. Uh, certainly on my channel, you can see that we'd have to go through here and take a look. Now, remember, we did disable a lot of the key uh, protection inside here, which is core isolation, which reduces like 50 to 60% probably about 60% of no malware on the web today. And it blocks a lot of that. And this is stuff that's been lurking around on the internet and it can easily get onto your system and infect you. But with that on, it stops a lot of that. So you've got to weigh up the pros and the cons, whether it's worth turning off all your security features just to get results like this. And you can see them there. You see me doing it on the video. I haven't done anything that's any different Yes, it's a lower end system. And yes, you can put a better graphics card in it. It's not going to change the result. The benchmarks speak for themselves. And I thought Atlas OS was supposed to enhance your old computer and make you get more 1% uh, lows and more performance out of your computer. Now, I'm pretty sure that it will make it a little bit more usable by reducing the processes and removing a lot of bloat from the PC. But you can do that without doing all of this and it will make it a lot easier for yourself. So basically, a lot of the tweaks that you see around on the Internet nowadays are not going to enhance your games that much as much as what people claim, where you see old thumbnails on YouTube where it will say gain 500 FPS. It's not possible. There is no Windows tweak out there that is going to gain you, you know, hundreds and hundreds of FPS. It's just not possible. And it's all a load of, you know, clickbait stuff. So remember, if you want more FPS, buy a bigger, faster graphics card. If you want more performance, then get a better CPU. It's that simple. If you're on a mechanical drive, use an SSD. Those are the simple upgrades you can do, which will give you better performance. Other than that, registry tweaks and things like that are not going to enhance uh, your FPS by a major amount of improvements here. As you can see here, We've installed Atlas OS on a fresh install and it hasn't done anything really that is going to be mind blowing, really. Yes, it's disabled a bunch of telemetry and uh, disabled a bunch of privacy settings and things like that and removed a bit of bloat, but it's nothing too exciting. So would I recommend Atlas OS? No, I wouldn't. And the reason why is because of security reasons, one, having to disable your antivirus program to run it, and two, uh, you know, giving you options to remove protection like Windows Defender and also disable uh, core isolation and things like that, which are there to protect you. It's just stupid, especially for those sort of results you're seeing there. It's just not worth it. And that's just my personal opinion. You know, if you want to use it, that's entirely up to you. But I wouldn't recommend it. And uh, there's plenty of other ways of, uh, you know, reducing processes and making your system a little bit more usable without going through all this sort of stuff. But anyway, with that said, I think I'm rambling now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.